Hi, my name is Julie Carlson. I am 20 years old. I was born with cerebral palsy. That means I did not get enough air when I was being born, and my body developed differently because of that. I am faced with more physical challenges than most people. However, my brain works just the same as anyone else's, and I live a very happy and exciting life. Currently, I keep busy with swimming, a cooking class, hanging with friends, and advocating for people with special needs in my community. I have been very blessed with an amazing family and support system who consistently ensure that I feel loved and included. Because of this, I feel passionate to advocate on behalf of other people living with unique abilities who might not be experiencing as much support as I am. I may not be able to speak out verbally, but I have found other ways to communicate so that my voice may be heard. People who know me well have learned to ask me yes-no questions. I can respond with a yes with the stomp of my foot or a no when I shake my head like this. I also direct my gaze to what I'm talking about if applicable and give big facial expressions to match my emotions. I'm usually big smiles or give a cheeky eye roll, but when I'm not happy about something, it's pretty obvious too. I also have been learning how to communicate with my eye gaze computer, where I simply look at an icon and it reads it out loud. This has opened up flowing conversation so that I can express more than a yes or no with other people. When I was younger, I felt misunderstood most of the time. My family learned to communicate with me, but it was often frustrating to be at school or out in the community. When I was 12 years old, my family moved to Powell River, a city with much more support and awareness of my abilities, so I have been able to express myself more and be heard. My school situation improved drastically and I was able to make friends. I am so grateful for moving here. Eight years later, I still have the occasional encounter of feeling misunderstood when someone sees my wheelchair and recognizes that I can't speak verbally. They often assume that I understand very little. Quite commonly, strangers will either ignore me or talk to me like I'm a baby. Both are equally frustrating. As I venture out into the community and become more familiar to others, I am meeting more people and seeing an improvement with the way they interact. Inclusion to me is when people can look past my wheelchair and my physical struggles that I deal with on a daily basis and take the time to get to know me. I hate the feeling of being ignored or talked down to as if I'm still a kid or don't matter. But then again, who wouldn't? I am passionate about sharing my story with others in order to educate people on what it's like to grow up and live with unique abilities such as my own. This past year, I have been pursuing a dream of mine of going into schools and other gathering places to deliver a presentation called Don't Diss My Ability. The purpose is to encourage people to treat everyone with respect and to look past outward appearances. Everyone has the right to feel included and like they belong. Eventually, I would love to take my presentation outside of Powell River and continue advocating for people who commonly feel misunderstood. Thank you for listening to my story. I hope you feel encouraged to take the time to get to know someone past outward appearances and discover the true gem that each person is inside. Let's allow everyone to feel included.